Despite being left without UFC cards for a whole month and with the strongest league wrapping up its last numbered tournament in mid-December 2023, leaving us devoid of content and expectations for the next, thankfully, they haven't left us hanging. Literally after New Year and all the upcoming holidays, we have UFC 297 to look forward to, which is expected to set a benchmark in quality thanks to its main event and headline fighters. For those unaware, we're anticipating the climax of a tense showdown between middleweight champion Sean Strickland and his newfound arch-rival Dracus Duplessis. In light of this, we've prepared a promo for you ahead of the scheduled event. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also give us a like and leave a comment consisting of four words. Now, let's get started. Let's start with the contender. Can you see how out of breath I am? I guess I did some, a few running regimes this whole camp. I'm lying. I told you I have cardio for days. And secondly, you go and have about two minus two hours to go de delete a whole lot of comments because I'm coming for that social media. A few highlights featuring him will be enough to describe this prospect to you. Well, now that you have an approximate idea of what Duplessis is all about, let's get to know him a bit better. Dracus is a South African fighter with a pathological inclination to finish all of his fights in an early manner. The professional career of this knockout artist began in July 2013, a little over 10 years ago. With the first six and a half years of active competition, Duplessis compiled a record of 14 wins with only two and since then his only losses which ended by submission or thunderous knockout. Each and every one of them. During this time, the rising athlete managed to compete in both the welterweight and middleweight divisions, securing several local championships including titles in two divisions. But for now, middleweight division, getting that belt in the middleweight division and climbing the ladder and making sure I become the best I can be at middleweight, that's my focus at this stage. In October 2020, Dracus made his debut in the strongest promotion, marking a spectacular victory with a first round knockout against Marcus Perez. From that moment on, the prospect began steadily making his way through the middleweight division, elevating the level of his opposition with each fight and edging closer to the coveted top 15. Just one thing, Joe Rogan. My name is Dricus Duplessis. Uh, where I'm from, that's not a very hard name, but I see people are struggling. Uh, Mr. Bossman Dana struggles to say Dricus Duplessis. A lot of people struggle. Dricus Duplessis, remember the name. It will be a household name in the top 10 very, very soon. Indeed, by summer of 2023, the South African fighter had secured five convincing victories since his debut and issued a challenge to former champion Robert Whittaker at the 290th numbered tournament. Now, I have a goal to be the champion of the world and Robert Whittaker is the next step in that ladder. It's a very, very, very tall order, but I believe I did everything I possibly could and I know I'm ready to overcome this obstacle to get to the next stage and be uh, the number one contender. So having nothing to lose, I have absolutely everything to lose. And you'll see how I fight like somebody with everything to lose on Saturday night. Stopping the Reaper in the second round via technical knockout, Duplessis positioned himself closer to the title race. And as it seemed to everyone at that time, he initiated a rivalry with Israel Adesanya. I'm African, but I ain't no brother of your hey, son. Let's go. What, did, what happened in his last performance against Robert Whittaker? It was a very close fight. What happened in my last performance against Whittaker? No, I'm not afraid of the champion. I can't wait to fight the champion. And uh, if uh, everything comes back positive, if everything is, is good, if physically I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ca capable, like I said, I'm fighting the champion. As you are well aware, in the month of September, it wasn't Duplessis who shared the cage with the last style bender. I'm gonna wake up, somebody hit me. Oh my God, you guys. Literally, bro, never in a million years would I thought I'd be here, man. Like, 
The thing is, the African fighter sustained an injury and there were no plans to cancel the title bout involving the Avatar in September. The title opportunity went to an American phenomenon who still recently was competing in local fight nights without much recognition. Sean Strickland's fighting career began back in March 2008. Over the course of five years, Strickland dominated the local organization named the King of the Cage. By August 2013, he had amassed a record of 13 wins without any losses. Moreover, his last six fights were all title belts, including one championship win and five successful defenses, respectively. On March 15, 2014, Sean made his debut in the strongest league in UFC 171. I mean, I looked at Boba and I, he's an athletic guy and he's big, so I mean, I think he's kind of skated by a lot because he's the athleticism and, you know, his stature, but... I mean, I don't see much this guy has to offer me. From my training partner, from what I've done, you know, from, from my skill level, I just can't see him being in my, in my same level. From practically that time until October 2020, the American psychopath fought as a welterweight where he tasted the bitter pill of his first defeats. Despite this, overall Strickland held his ground admirably under the UFC banner, consistently stepping into the octagon and entertaining audiences in various cities. I feel like that I am 100% better than with Jot Jotko, Jotko. I feel like, again, in the gym, I would, in the gym, I don't even think he'd want to be a sparring partner of mine, but again, a fight four ounce glove is dangerous. By the way, all the charm from his unparalleled, distinctive, and witty interviews wasn't quite noticeable until around the summer of 2022, even though there was plenty of material to watch and listen to cheat on me and I don't find out I mean so if you're gonna cheat on me just be good at it what is the worst Christmas gift you ever got beer bottle thrown at your head I don't <laughs> you're such a smug cocky mother that I would probably take a misdemeanor charge just to smack you and watch your head bounce off the ground in short Sean Strickland doesn't require lengthy introductions how did he get the title opportunity ahead of Duplessis, you might ask? First, because the latter was recovering from a leg injury, as we already mentioned. And secondly, not least thanks to this interview. Who's the best striker on stage? I mean, I would say no. me, but I mean, that man was the one that slept that man. So, you know, next to me, next to me, probably Alex. I mean, what was it like? 2-0 against Izzy? Izzy, what was it? 2-0? Did you watch the whole fight? No, I don't like it. Exactly, do your job next time. Oh. oh man, I made the champion mad with his frosted tips and his gay little watch. Oh no! Meanwhile, Adesanya's initial run as the undisputed champion of the division continued as he geared up to defend his title against Jared Cannonier. Sean's fate, as he described it then, landed him against the big and scary Brazilian Alex Pereira. By the way, in 2022, both Sean and Israel suffered losses to Powhatan that was another shared aspect between them. But here's the difference, the American's defeat didn't come in a title fight, so he had to seek opportunities to redeem himself and climb back into the division's top ranks, while Izzy simply waited for the time to swiftly pursue a rematch. I offered to get a translator, I offered to get someone that could read to give to Costa, but the man's not down to fight. I want to do the fucking man dance, Costa. I want to put you on your fucking knees like Izzy did. I want to get behind you. I want to fucking mount you. But you just got to say yes. You got to side on the dotted line, Mr. Costa. Hey, and do me a favor, miss weight, so I can get fucking paid. Overall, by September 2023, Sean Strickland managed to secure two victories and successfully positioned himself for the title fight against the last stylebender. Izzy sucks. Let's bring a better class of champion into the UFC, all right? Sending Adesanya on a short vacation, Tarzan became the new middleweight champion. For a while, there was a lull until November when Dana White delighted combat sports fans with intriguing news. What's up, guys? I'm going to hit you with three more pay-per-view headliners. In January, we're doing Sean Strickland versus Dragos Duplessis. Starting from this moment, these guys began promoting the upcoming event. I honestly think um, you know, it's, it's, uh, the first round is going to play a big role in, in, in how this fight ends. I think uh, this fight will end with me getting my hand raised with the belt around my waist. There's no, there's no two ways about it. But 
you know, the first round is going to play a big role because, yes, I know it's a five-round fight. I know it's a five-round fight. It's it's different, but Sean has had a lot of uh, uh, time in, in five-round fights, but people forget that for five, six years, I was a champion in every promotion I fought. And I only fought five-rounders for five, six years of my career. That's, a, that's, that's the only thing we prepared for. And ever since that, then, I've never stopped preparing for five rounds. I didn't start preparing for three rounds. Strickland did what Sean Strickland does against Israel Desanya and it worked for him. And that's great. Styles do make fights. Um, so it works for him. But I have my style of fighting, he has his style of fighting. And in our fight, it's going to be the guy who imposes his will and fights his fight the best. That's going to be the winner and that's going to be me. In December, to be more precise, during the week dedicated to the 296th tournament, a seasonal pass conference took place where these two finally came face to face and exchanged a couple of kind words. Drag is a tough motherfucker, dude. Look at this guy, man. You know? And walk through Whitaker. Tough guy. The only thing, Drag is, just don't let your coach grab your no more. We ain't about this shit, guys. It's gonna throw me up. I'm gonna be fighting. I'm gonna look over. They're gonna be making out and shit. I can't handle this shit. Let's just have a nice, clean fight. No grabbing. You want to talk about scared? Drake has had a pretty easy fight with Whitaker, to his credit. Injury free. They offered him a world title, and he said, "No, I rolled my fucking ankle." So let's not talk about being scared. They offered me that coming off the couch. Yeah, but you were ranked number nothing. seven. You knew you would never make it up the ladder. You and get Jack the title nothing, fight, so you and would I of course take the fight. call. I My God, you are a nip one, call. slip one fighter. Enjoy. That's, you look Enjoy. the part. That's the way you fight. You are ne you are not world championship majority. You won by fluke, and that's the one I thing. I won by a fluke, point bro. in your life. I want my walk through Izzy, and I'm gonna walk through you, you mother. You didn't even finish him. That's not Calm walking down, through somebody. Calm down, my brother. Calm you down. You know how you walk through somebody? Up. You knock them out. That You get the ref to say, stop. You are going to kill this man. You don't let a judge decide you're winning the fight. I make the choice hey, if I'm winning the fight. just understand. That's what a man the does. Way out. But I'm going to do a master class on him. I'm going to walk through Drykus. And I'll tell you what. I'm probably not gonna finish that man because he's going to die in the ring. And if I don't finish him, you're gonna see five rounds of him getting the other sh kicked out of him. I promise you that. To the death, Drykus. Bro, why are you so angry? Bro, you think your dad beat the shit out of you? you, you, you your dad doesn't have shit on me. I'm gonna show you what it's like to Dreykus. beat you. I mean, all, every childhood memory you have is gonna come back when I'm in there with you. Every single one, the one where you lie in bed at night where your dad thing, comes man. in and he beats the shit I out of you. I will take your f***ing soul, you understand me, you f***ing pussy? <laughs> As they say, trouble doesn't come alone. Just a few days after that fiery press conference, UFC 296 took place with many fighters present in the audience. Strickland and Duplessis also attended the event. Unfortunately, they ended up sitting right next to each other, leading to the altercation you saw at the very beginning. 5-0 uh, in the T-Mobile Arena, and tonight it officially became 6-0, so <laughs> I'm happy with that. You know, getting my money's worth uh, here at the show, but yeah, I mean, it's probably not a, a good example, but you know, here we are, things happen, and uh, yeah, nobody got hurt. Uh. Here's how Dana White commented on this incident. So what kind of an asshole <clears throat> sits Strickland next to Duplessis. This <laughs> That's who. Yeah. Judging by the fire ignited between the fighters at this stage, it's safe to say that as the scheduled date approaches, we can expect more and more excitement. Meanwhile, we patiently count down the days and celebrate the New Year holidays. Share your thoughts in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course, Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this promo. See you soon.